Hitler no fine people, because that's what hold the that's the glue. Hate is the glue. So. Now at six, weighing in on the president's comments he made yesterday when he addressed the tragedy in Charlottesville. Somebody who has firsthand knowledge of the Nazi regime. 84-year-old Erica Gold escaped the Holocaust with her family in 1944. She says her experience has made it clear there are not many sides when confronted with hate. Mona Kosar Abdi joins us now with more of their fascinating conversation. Mona. Rob, when Erica Gold and her family fled before World War II, she never thought that decades later she would see Nazi paraphernalia displayed openly, let alone on an American street. But it has only solidified her cause to increase awareness about the consequences of giving a platform to such evils. Long before written text, the tradition of oral storytelling has been used to preserve moments of triumph and darkness. We hope that by talking about it, it's people are going to learn the signs. It's why on any given week you'll find Erica Gold sharing her story of being a Holocaust survivor. If anybody would have known we're there, all four of us would have been shot on the spot. Her narrative shaped by the images engraved in her memory. The cross, the arrow cross, and the uniform. And they were just loud and mean and hateful. Nearly 80 years later, a familiar sight appeared across her screen. Nazi paraphernalia parading down the streets of Charlottesville, Virginia. It's a shocker. Why? Because I thought we learned and we accomplished things and we, things were getting better. Unfortunately, those people didn't disappear. However, beyond the hate fueled demonstration that took place, it was the president's words that represented a far greater danger for gold. You also had people that were very fine people on both sides. They all identify with hate. That's their motto. There were no fine people because that's what hold the, that's the glue. Hate is the glue. Gold says she believes Trump deliberately softened his words to appease these hate groups. I could see Hitler in him. And Gold tells me that she's scheduled to give a talk in Arkansas next week and will not let the loud voices spewing hate silence her. Live in the newsroom, Monaco Sarabdi, News 5.